Well, I grew up on a fifth generation horse ranch. Uh, both my parents are horse trainers, and so I literally grew up on the back of a horse. When you're competing in an arena, you're always looking to catch the judge's eye, and so I would go out and buy the leather and make my own shafts, and I would take these vests and tailor them in a little bit, and you know, maybe add a rhinestone or sequin here or there. I guess that's where I got my first taste of I kind of accidentally fell into design. I moved to New York in 99, and I hooked up with Richie Rich and um, Suzanne Barsh. And we used to design our looks to go out at night, and all of a sudden, before you know it, we had a press book, and it was amazing. It all just naturally fell into place. We wrapped that after 10 successful years. From doing the fashion shows and being on set, doing everything from like hair and makeup concepts to designing the actual looks. The only thing I realized I hadn't actually done is like step behind the camera and take the picture. And so I thought about it and I took a, I took a couple months off to go to Montana to help my mom with the calving. On our, on our acreage, there's all of these uh, buildings that are falling down. And I'm like, oh, these buildings are so amazing. I would love to capture them, but kind of capture them in a way that's unique to me and my history, I guess. I designed the looks kind of inspired by the buildings. Maybe I'll take this back to LA and I set up a studio here and I've been doing photography ever since. I love the images and it kind of occurred to me that these images would look great on a t-shirt and instead of selling prints, which is, to me is kind of outdated, I was like, slap it on a shirt and let's sell t-shirts. And just one thing kind of led to the next, the interest w was growing. Bow ties kind of just have always been in my life because my boyfriend Galen loves to sport them out. He likes the jumbo ties instead of the little skin ties, which are more difficult to find. So he was kind of complaining about not finding, being able to find this type of bow tie. So I went out and I found some fabric that I was screaming to be made into a bow tie and I brought it home. Well, the fabrics I found for the bow ties are all vintage. Um, I, I love going to the Dharma District and just kind of getting lost in the stores down there. I guess I find a lot of inspiration from fabrics. Um, I, a lot of pieces that I've created start with just the roll of fabric and the way that it, the way that it drapes or the way that it um, you know, holds up and folded a certain way. A lot of my creativity is, is sort of selfish, it's for me. <laughs> I, just, I like to design things that I would wear, take pictures of things that I would like to hang on my wall. But I also, it makes me feel so good when I see other people wearing it, or people that are interested in wearing the photography or buying the prints, whatever it may be. I love that and that's kind of what I hope for whenever I design something or take a picture.